Welcome to the Jamie Ross Show. I'm coming to you live from Word Bookstore in Maplewood, New Jersey. And today we're talking about You Say Tomato, I Say Shut Up with Annabelle and Jeff Kahn. Welcome to the Jamie Ross Show. Thank you. I love your spontaneous set right here. Yes, it's a great set. Bookstore, which is my favorite independent bookstore. Um, you know, Jonah has just shows so much support for authors. It's mm-hmm. amazing. It's a great guy. It's a great crowd right. and really, really it's You, you say tomato, special. I say shut up. A love story, though. Oh, yeah. It's right. definitely a love story. Now, you know, I was excited and nervous about having you on the show because I am engaged. Uh-oh. Oh. At the moment. I'm you know what? We're not, <laughs> now, let me just say, we're not we're, against marriage. But we, we're trying to, but we're trying we to, like, married. you know. Yeah, we are. We are married. It's true. We're trying to, like, debunk myths about marriage and, like, it's good for you. You'll get ready for it so that, so right. you know, we tell people not to have you know, too high, too high expectations. Yeah, too and, high. and and I actually do agree with a lot of what you say in here, which I hope is a good thing. I, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll check back. Why don't we check back with you in what four years? Is that is that the is that what's the yeah, the time new now? thing it's is, is you know the latest itch. research shows it's not a seven year itch, it's like a four year itch. Actually the latest research shows you get less happy the minute you finish the wedding. But that's all because we have the wrong expectations right, of marriage. Right. Plus you've got a I lot of dopamine going. A lot yeah, it's a lot of yeah. adrenaline. Yeah. Uh-huh. But the thing is, is that I just think it, you know we should just get rid of this myth of happily ever after. If right. you just go forever after, yeah. then happily you get is great. Absolutely. But I think it's, it's true of everything in life. Mm-hmm. Too many expectations. Just yeah. you just you can't. How could you expect marriage to solve all your problems? It's the it beginning. It is your problem. <laughs> <laughs> it is your problem. See, see, you know, I I was a romantic, so I had very high expectations, and now every year we've been married 13 years, they get a little bit lower, 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 lower. Or, and about now I'm at sea level. Um, right. Well, know, see, well, see, sort of bottomed out. This is completely different, though, because you were the romantic. Yes. It's and I still am. Completely opposite. Have you? Have your? Has your level? Have you kind of reached? <laughs> no. No. See, he's a romantic, show, and I am just not that person. That is, I'm not that romantic right. girl. Right. But it, it's true. But maybe that's a good. But thing you know what you have? But you have. But you appreciate. I appreciate my, it more now than when we first got. No, together. it's. It's true, I do, and this is the thing about Remember marriage. For Valentine's Day? It's true. Well, for Valentine's Day this right. year, Jeff gave mm-hmm. me an iPod, okay. and it was engraved. An iNano. Uh, and it does, it does say the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me, and it's mm-hmm. not "I love you." Right. It's "Don't worry, honey." I'll program it for you. <laughs> now that is yes. love. That's you know the marriage you know of practicality and romance. I got, well, I got a big box of delicious nothing. Well, <laughs> I drove the carpool that day. Uh, okay, this is, okay. This is partially why I mean, we wrote this book because we felt like someone should just talk about marriage in a right. different way, That's not true. as a destination, but as the jumping off point. And we thought that also, you know, part of our message was sense of humor. Sure. If you don't have a sense of humor, and you obviously have a sense of humor, right. Right. you'll do well because it's yeah. just, it's crazy. It's setting hard. off yeah. to live with Look, someone for the rest of your you're life. You're a flawed person, no matter how good you are. Right. Oh, I'm a flawed person. No, He's a flawed one. person. One. Is I am. Flawed. I'm a deeply flawed person right. who's married to another deeply flawed person right. Right. in the same place. Right. Every day, it's not a good combination, right. you know. That's where the I sense mean, of humor has to come in. Absolutely. So if people don't have and a sense of humor, then good. they're in trouble. Yes, yes, they because are. They, they're, they're, they'll have no outlet. There's no um, for the for the rage so. that you're going to get. <laughs> you're going to get rage. It's going to happen. You're going to argue. You, you you're going to you're, you're going to not going to agree. It's not okay. possible. Well, see, no, but you don't know someone until like you really spend. You know, like you think you know them, right. but you know. I'm, we move in, and all of a sudden, I find out Jeff has what I call nudity radar. Every time I <laughs> right. take my clothes off, it sounds good in the abstract. Yeah, yeah. Take my clothes off, and I don't mean like sexy taking my clothes off. I mean like changing clothes from the gym, taking clothes off. Right. Yeah. He's there, yay! You know, and, I'm like, what? Any, <laughs> to me, any nudity, any any, any close cro- close proximity nudity, that's what I call it. I, and if I'm privy to that, yeah. I want I want to see some. Can you can you do the yay? Can can you show us the yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. The first time he does it, it's funny. The second time, it's like, okay, I get yeah. it. The third time, it's like, okay, I right. get it. And after 13 years. 13 years. But then again, you know, 13 years later, it's a right. good thing. Yeah. And and that is one of the things about the you don't want indifference. Book. You don't want nudity that's, indifference. That's one of the things about the book, though, that I think it does 
really speak to why we are together still right. is that yeah you know, there is something that you don't get if you only spend a short time with someone then it's like you you've like lived an essay together oh yeah we're, a short story we're, living, we're writing a novel together in our in our life we're we're weaving a story together and one of the things we actually we like to debunk some you know common ideas like mm -hmm. oh one of the things you, you know to look for in a spouse or potential mate is things enjoying the same things we actually one of the things we like we to enjoy to do that, is yeah. we like to hate things together yeah. mutual mutual yes. hate okay yes you i find thought, that much more bo bonding oh it is yeah. i knew i met my it's soulmate kind of like your sisters yeah. Uh, that thing at your sister. Yes, uh, that's an example. But one of the ways that <laughs> right. we, we really bonded, <laughs> Jamie, was when we realized we're both sitting there in the movie theater, Crash is on the screen, people are weeping in front of us, <laughs> it's so politically correct. <laughs> Jeff turns to me and he goes, I hate this. And I said, I hate right. it too. And I was like, yes, yeah. if I were married, it's mm -hmm. fun to be judgmental together. Yes. Right. That, that is right. just so a it, fun uh, thing. Fun. Didn't we have yeah. this the other night where we were just looking at each other, now I'm going to forget. What? And we were just thinking the same thing. We both hated it, but... I what can, do we I'm hate? Forget, right? the, just the look on your face and knowing that you hated it as much as well, I hated it, it's is, very reassuring. That is the, re that is the right. thing. You share yeah. something together that you, and that, that's one of the reasons why we're still together. Right. 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 Well, sure. one, yeah, if the only one, maybe. And maybe the only one, well, yeah. Hopefully, when you hopefully get married, I can work out. See, she, see, see, the thing that's going to be tricky with us is uh -huh. she's in Switzerland right now. She's from Germany. Uh -huh. And we met in Hawaii. Uh-huh. Wow. And so, This sounds so, great, yeah. That is fantastic. Isn't that a great story? Well, you know. It's a, it's a geographical here's, nightmare. Here's, but it was a, where, are you guy, where are you going to get married? Like in Newfoundland? Oh, here. We're all waiting for the, uh, uh, the fiancé visa right now. All right. Oh, okay. Let me just say one thing. All right. okay. Here's another thing here we, we can go. say about in the book, right? A... People say, oh, you know, what your marriage shall yeah. last. Mm -hmm. You have to foster intimacy. I say, give me a little mystery. Right. Because, you know, if you're going to stay together for a long yeah. time, you got to have something to keep what? discovering. And it's good to have yeah. boundaries in space. So yeah. one of you in another country. Country, you're right. here, she's there. Yeah. Oh, you'll you get to see each other. Oh, yeah. see each other on the, uh, yeah. the iChat thing. You can look at oh, no, each other. Skype, Skype, Skype is Skype. amazing. Yes. It's going to be so weird, though, when she finally comes here. Yes, it and is. she doesn't leave. Right. Yeah. So, so that's, so, when, that's, that, when, that's when, the real, <laughs> when the reality hits. Yes. That's the reality yeah. time. Yeah. It's Absolutely. true. But that's I know. I it's not as romantic, but then you have to kind of keep trying to find you know the romance of it yeah yeah i don't think we'll be able i'm excited well we'll check back this, we're gonna yeah. check back this is, this is like a guide to you know something to read before you get married just to sort of get yourself in the right mood for okay. because people are only thinking about the wedding as a destination right. but right. you should really think about the marriage oh, no. not yeah. the wedding yeah, you know, all see, the wedding planning wedding planning what about marriage yeah. planning think see about we're, we're, we're so similar that we're uh -huh. not even we we're getting married probably How end of August, uh -huh. and we're not even like we just came up with a guest list. <laughs> I like that. We don't, yeah. have, we don't know where she's like. Well, let's get her here right. Let's yeah. marry her right now. Let's be yeah, really spontaneous. Let's get, spontane. right. done that, get her yeah. here. I've actually done that, not for me. But, you have. Uh, but I'm gonna come in and be the handler. Okay. 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 Guys going if you want to eat. All you right. Finish up. Or anything. These guys have to eat. Thanks again for being on the Jamie Raw show. That was great. And uh, maybe when you're in the area, you can stop by the studio. I'd love to yeah. have you on again. Okay. Yeah, I want to. I want to meet your think, your your, yeah. your yeah, well, new wife. By that, we'll by that point, we'll see down. how it's going. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The, the Swiss German. Well, thanks a lot, and hey. everyone out there, buy this book. Come down to Words, pick you up. It's Come hilarious. It's a great book, and congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Jamie. Okay. Thanks, Jamie.